So I'm here with the Mirror Mom, the Young Master True School Sports. How you doing, Amir? How you doing, doing bro? Hey, I'm doing good. It's good to see you again. Yeah. We've got a lot of things going on. Now we'll start with uh, we'll start with Terrence Crawford because that whole scenario, you know, he's fighting John Lee on the 10th. What's your overall take on, on that? Because you, um, I mean, I guess it's good for him. You know, he ranked number three, I think, in the WBC. So if we fight a top contender, but my my time is coming. I'm gonna get there regardless. I'm number two right now. I'm waiting to see what's going on with these fights. Number one, I don't think want to fight me. So. I just gotta wait my turn, I guess, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, if if you were to fight Terrence Crawford, could you tell people out there, cause a lot of people have been writing you off ever since the Granados loss, like what, what makes you different and why would you have a, of a good chance of beating him if that fight ever did happen? What makes you different from all the other opponents he um, fought? I got, I, got, I got a lot of skills, man, just just like you do. I got a lot of skills, I got strength, got length on him, you know? And I'm planning on being there again, man. I, as I say, he, he's a good fighter too, but you know, the best of the, against the best, you, you figure out who's the best when everybody fight each other. But okay. until then, it ain't gonna be like that. You, you keep picking your opponents, man. Yeah, so like, what's what's the next move for you? I know you had a fight in Pittsburgh. Uh, yeah. How are you trying to like, move your way into that position? Like, to fight, um, to get these big fights? Just just staying in the gym and keeping my name out there, you know? Staying in the gym, keep training no matter what, even if I don't gotta fight, staying active. And, and my, my time is coming, in due time, it will come. Yeah, and uh, you recently I saw you sparred uh, Paul and Naji. How was yeah, how, out there in Miami. Yeah, how was that experience? Oh yeah, that was a good uh, good sparring session, man. Paul, you know, experienced dude, been up in mountains that I'm trying to get to, and uh, it was good work, man. Good learning experience. What do? Yeah, what things in the ring like? What, what, what did you what, what did you take from it? Like what? How how are you gonna use that to make you better? Like the whole sparring sessions with him. Uh, just just little things in the sparring, like little things that 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 make you the champion. Mm -hmm. and, and don't lose the passion for the sport. Yeah, that's one good one thing that you can't lose the passion for the sport. Once you lose that, it's over, man. You gotta keep stay stay loving the sport, man, and be active, man. Yeah, because Paul is one of those fighters. You know, he doesn't have he doesn't have like your type of skill set, but because he was very smart in the ring and he kind of used what he did have to his advantage, he was able to win world titles. People uh, people say Paul, they don't have skill. I, I well, he had skills, but I'm saying like, he, he didn't have like the physical tools. Like you're, you're, you're bigger, you're rangy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that plays a factor too, you know, in the ring, but more, it's like chess, man, in there. It's not checkers, it's chess in there. Who, who got to think the other? Who's smarter than the other in there? Yeah. It's all about just brawling and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, you know, you, you you follow boxing pretty closely. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, we got some good fights coming up. Uh, you know, we got uh, Andre Ward versus Kovalev. How, how do you how do you what do you think about that fight? Uh, I think it's a good fight, man. Finally, you know, two champions fighting each other, coming together, making the, the sport of boxing great again. You know, that's what it's about. Because you know, people picking their fights, they not they not doing that. They not doing it like they finally getting together and doing what everybody wanted to see. And that's two of the best fighting each other. To see who's the really who really is the best. Yeah, who you got on that one? Uh, I like Kova, but I got Andre Ward. Andre Ward is, I, I believe, he's a smarter fighter. He got he got skills, he got better skills, and I believe he's a smarter fighter. He'll come out on top. Okay, uh, it's gonna be, be a great one, November nineteenth. Yeah, yeah, what about uh Lomachenko versus uh, Nicholas Walsh? That's another good, another, another good one. Uh, I don't know, man. You don't know. <clears throat> I ain't see too much of um. Either one of them guys, actually. I heard of them guys. I, I never seen a lot on it. Okay, yeah, yeah. A lot of people are pretty high on Lomachenko. Yeah. Because he has a crazy, like, amateur record. He was like... That, I mean, that, that don't mean nothing. Because dudes that did something in the amateurs is not doing nothing in the pros. That's true. And the dudes that didn't do something in the amateurs is doing something in the pros. That's so true. It's, it's, it's all about... But yeah, he's actually proven himself as a pro, though. Like, yeah, he's... Yeah. he's a, Beating guys who are world champions like his fifth, his sixth, mm -hmm. Gary Russell Jr. and you know, all those type yeah, of guys. Yeah, yeah. So he's proven himself. Yeah. It'll be a great fight. I mean, as long as the best fight and the best fans want to see it, they gonna come out to see it. Yeah. Now, if Amir Mom was a boxing promoter, like, what are some fights that you would like? Would you would put on if you had the power to do so? Like tomorrow, Amir Mom could put together any fight. Uh, I'll fight anybody that got got, a, got the belt, got the championship. Champion. So just. I'll fight anybody with the IBF, WBA, WBO, WBC don't matter to me. You know what I mean? Don't yeah, a lot of people have. I, want, I kind of wanted to address this because ever since the Granados, you know, lost, that was a tough, tough yeah. loss for you. Uh, a lot of people have written you off. Maybe they're not as high as on you as they once were. Mm -hmm. Just t to tell people out there why you, sh <laughs> why you, they should still view you as as one of the top fighters in, in uh, boxing at 140. The best loss, man. It, ha it happens. It's the sport of boxing. Man. Granados lost. Like, uh, yeah. why people should still view you as a top fighter at 140? Uh. Just because of one loss, that, that doesn't mean that I'm out of this sport and I can't become champion and become 
what I was aiming towards before I lost. I still can, you know, I learned from it. I got more mature by it. And, you know, I'm taking my time to become a champion, get, becoming a champion. Yeah. I'm going to get there regardless. It don't matter if I lost or not. You know, I, everybody lost. It don't matter. Only one person that lost, didn't lose, is who? It's uh, Mayweather, know, Rocky Marciano. They're trying to live off of that zero on their record. Yeah. It don't, it don't mean nothing, man. As long as, you know, you dedicate, say dedicated, you got hunger for the sport still. Mm. After you take that L, you know what I mean? But a lot of pe people don't know that wasn't me in my fight anyway. Yeah, because you, you were, you were sick. Was, you know, excuses and all that, but you know that wasn't me when I was fighting. Yeah, I'm here. I see you train all the time. So, uh, yeah, man. And you know, Granados wasn't no pushover. He's been, he's been very battle tested fighter. So it wasn't like you were in there against a scrub. Yeah. You were against a really good fighter. Um, any message to the boxing world people out there that you want to that you want to get out there? Anything you want to say to them? Uh, you know, just stay tuned. Young Master will be back in effect, man. Be back in that ring and put on them shows like I uh, like I, I was last year. You know, explosive knockouts and stuff like that. Just stay tuned and follow me at Mary Mount Boxing on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram, underscore young, underscore master. Support me and I'll fight for you, man. All right. Mary Young Master Mount coming for your heads at 140. Don't think he's done. One. All right.